Hello again, welcome back. I'm trying a new setup. I've just moved my table round. Normally I sit here and face that way. Just something different. I don't I don't think I'll keep it this way. <laughs> yeah, I've had to rearrange the whole room practically. Anyway, tonight or today. Yeah, tonight. What time is it? My goodness, it's 2010. Well, where has the day gone? This is St. Peter's India Pale Ale. St. Peter's in Brewery in Suffolk, I think it is in England. And this is one from my forgotten stash. The cooler box in my cupboard that I rediscovered. So, I don't know if it'll be any good for drinking or not. But let's see how it pours anyway. Yes, well it's quite dark. Yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be that colour. Let's get a wee bit of fizz at the end. Yeah. Oh, that smells lovely. I don't know if I've got my camera positioned right or not. Uh, the same old... Uh, The raven on the cap, same with their logo. Right, it is, let's have a wee look. That is like a, an amber, golden amber, orangey type colour. It's got about a half a finger of interrupted white foam. It's quite hazy. Let's see how it smells. I've looked at the old Chromebook as well that I never use. Oh, it smells nice. What am I getting there? It's a bit zesty, a bit lemony. And there's a bit malty smell there as well. It's hard to pin down that. Anyway, cheers my dears. Yeah. Oh. You know what, I'm getting a lot of malty flavours there. Like, uh, caramel, toffee. That's, that's really nice. What does it say on the bottle? What's the best before date is uh, the 6th of April 21. So this is what, the 5th of July. So it's three months past its sell by date. India Pale Ale, the writing is tiny. This ale is traditionally lightly hopped and robust. It's really small. To survive the long voyage to the Indian subcontinent. The result is a full bodied pale ale with a zesty character. Yeah. Dark golden in colour, pleasing toffee aromas and distinctive floral citrus flavours. Yeah. I think we've pretty much uh, nailed that. What does it say on uh, on tart? It's got a how many ratings? 12,841 with an average of 3.21. It's 5.5% ABV and the IBU is 23. It doesn't say anything about it at all. There's no description or uh, there's a, just reviews. And of course a lot of people on Untapped don't actually leave a review, they just check in. I try to leave a few words for the descriptor. Anyway, we'll go through the tasting sheet uh, from craftbeer.com and I think this might be beer number 80. So I'm getting there. I might abandon this at beer 100. I'm still a novice. So, 
appearance, colour. So it's probably about a 9 to a 12, something like that. Uh, the clarity is it's a hazy. I'm going to say slight haze, but we'll say slight haze. It's not opaque, you can actually see light through it. So we'll say slight haze. Colour of foam and head retention is there's poor. The foam texture is thin, carbonation visual. I'm not seeing any at all. Uh, the aroma alcohol, yeah, mild. The hops, yeah, I'm getting a slightly citrusy, a bit floral maybe. The malt, I'm, I'm getting like a caramel. Uh, Maybe more between biscuit and caramel sort of a thing. The esters, it's hard to say. It's like a a wee bit maybe apricot or apricot. That's strange that one. Flavour and aftertaste: alcohol, mild. Hop flavour is citrus. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a wee bit, a wee bit of fruitiness there as well. The hot bitterness is it's fairly restrained, restrained to moderate. The malt flavour, I'm getting this biscuity, bready, caramel. Malt sweetness, it's fairly low, low to medium. Palate, astringency low, the body, it's drying to soft. Palate carbonation low. The length, I've still got that. So whether it's going to last more than 60 seconds, I don't know. But I'm going to say medium up to 60 seconds. Balance and drinkability. Desirable. Style. Appropriate. So even though it's past its, its best, I think I remember drinking this when I first got it. I think I got this a, bit, a year ago. Well... I got an email yesterday, I think, from St. Peter's Brewery saying it's been a year since you last bought from us. So, it's obviously a year. So, so I might put another order in. Because the things like that plum porter is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, all in all, would I buy it again? Yes. Uh, would I drink more than one? Yes. Would I share it with friends? No, it's too good for them. No, I would. And would I rate it 10 out of 10? No. There's no 10 out of 10s. I'm going to rate that probably 7.9 out of 10. Almost an 8. But it's a pleasant beer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this new setup. I should go back to the old setup. I think I might. I'll see what this looks like. I need to get my lighting sorted out. My big redhead popped today, the bulb. And the element, the bulb, the end of the bulb element has fused to the, the wee bit of fits in. So I'll try to get off the pliers and everything. I couldn't get off. It's, it's ruined. Oh well. I've got another one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers, my dears. <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say. I like this spoon. Very pleasant. Oh, lovely.